first step I always try to take is by setting SMART objectives. SMART objectives are specific, measurable, actionable, relevant, and realistic, as well as time-bound. And by setting SMART objectives, you can actually help people mostly understand what it is that they need to do, but also what is the expected outcome and when are they supposed to have that outcome by, so that when you're coaching, you can link it back to those and make sure that you go full circle. The second thing that I like to do to help my team develop is give timely feedback. No waiting for formal PMP sessions, etc. If we're in a meeting and I, I see something that I think I could coach them on, both good or bad, I'll jot it down in our next one-on-one, -on -one, I'll bring it up or I might even pull them aside afterwards if I think it needs immediate attention. Again, both good and bad behaviors um, so that people, you know, there's no excuse that they're waiting for the feedback later and not taking full advantage of improving immediately. The third thing that I really like to encourage is actually peer-to-peer -peer coaching and development. I'm just one person, I'm not an expert in everything, so oftentimes if someone on my team is working on something and I think they need a little bit of help, I'll actually direct them to one of their peers that I've seen do the activity or a similar project and encourage them to actually go to that person for development so that they're not only getting coached by me, but by several people.